This gives you an idea of how many layers of protection doctors must protect themselves every day from the coronavirus. Gee, that's a lot of protection. How long must that take? Like a good 10 minutes every single morning just to put protection on. And then you've got to take it off every single time you want to go to the toilet, every time you want to eat, and then you've got to put it on straight after. Like that's a lot of time. Hey everyone, my name is Jake and welcome to Next Level where we're going to be looking at people that are just way better than us at everything. God, we suck. But you have time to be good in quarantine while you stay at home. Stay at home, guys, and watch these videos. Let's go. So my husband redecorated without consulting me. <laughs> what a perfect redecoration that is. Oh, I mean, you probably feel a bit caged in, but <laughs> it's great. This is Texas Roadhouse's CEO, Kent Taylor. As a result of the coronavirus epidemic and subsequent economic turmoil, he is giving up his base salary and bonus to pay frontline employees. Corporate America needs to act more like Kent Taylor. Yeah, to be fair, I honestly think after this all ends, like it's gonna separate the big corporations that actually care about people and those who don't. And people are gonna like shop at the buns that don't less, right? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. But we should. Probably. This kid went from 193 kilograms to 83 kilograms. What? That's great. That's like more than half. More than half. That's insane. He looks so much older as well now that he's like lost all his weight. Like that's some dedication right there. Is this what quarantine's been doing? <laughs> this guy's quarantine is going great apparently. <laughs> That is cool. <laughs> like, I kind of want this, but I feel like I would do so bad at this, I'd just like crack my head open or something. This guy's insane at it. Like, double backflips? How? Oh my god, this guy's got way too much time. At least he's doing something. This is the Azure Blue Swimming Pool in the Hearst Castle. <laughs> Can you imagine being that rich? Like, whoever owned this castle and made that swimming pool, they had so much money. This is rich rich. There's a statue in Russia that honors all the laboratory mice that have sacrificed their lives in order to further scientific research. <laughs> you see, that's really nice and cool thing, but I don't think the mice care at all. Let's be honest, what's that doing to them? <laughs> Empty places around the world during quarantine. That's kind of cool to see. In a way, like, everything just completely empty. It's nice that people aren't, you know, celebrating spring break. Hopefully. I hope they're not still doing that. <laughs> this custom-made hook. A hook? Wait, what kind of hook are they trying to make? I don't know what hook this is, but it's really cool to watch. Oh, that kind of hook. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's very OTT, but it's cool. Australian man takes out $10,000 in cash and hands out $100 to each jobless person standing in line at the unemployment office. That's such a nice thing to do. You've got to be rich to do that though, right? Like really rich. Let's just hope he didn't have the coronavirus because yeah, that's not going to be good. My husband took up hand-making hats three years ago. This one he made last month is fire-painted with a snake burned into the brim by hand. You see, I don't wear hats that often, and especially not cowboy hats, but I kind of want to wear them now. This is cool. An antique safe from France around 1780 to 1810 with three keys and a great secret to unlock. That is so clever. And look at the keys as well, even those are really well made. Like, all separate, different ones, you gotta put the right one in. That is an awesome save. I wanna know who made that. This is the Paper Plane World Record. Does that ever touch the ground? Or does it like skid across the ground? I don't think that touched the ground. That's insane. I used to be like really good at making paper airplanes, not to toot my own horn or anything, but like I would not compare at all to this guy. This slingshot card snipe. Wait, he's gonna slingshot a card? I I've seen people throwing cards, but slingshot- No! Look at the card as well. It just keeps going off into the distance. 
Did it hit that dog? It might have hit that dog. <laughs> When you can't go to the water park, you do the next best thing. VR with a washing basket and some spray water. <laughs> I bet that actually feels kind of good. Like, it feels like you're there. This man's jump. This is a pole vaulter in the Olympics, I guess. Like, this is a high jump. Oh my. That is insane. Oh, he needs to watch out for the pole, though. I've always wondered, what happens if they land on the pole? Like, th that's gotta hurt a lot. <laughs> this crazy suspension. Oh, th that can't be real, right? Is this from a game? That can't be real. I, I never knew what suspension was at first, and then I realized it's this, but that just, that's too much, right? God, I would be so scared to drive in that kind of terrain. <laughs> I think the real next level thing on this though is the camera work, like that guy is holding on. This guy is spinning a cheeseburger on an umbrella. <laughs> that is a sentence I never thought I'd hear, but that's very impressive. <laughs> this guy's got way too much free time. <laughs> This Lego advertisement, whales there, and a whale there. Lego is just so cool. Like, I'd never do anything this cool with Lego. It'd just be like a long structure. <laughs> this kid doing just crazy stunts. Oh no, is he gonna hit one of the little kids? Why, why do I feel like he's gonna kick one of them? Jeez, that's some next level acrobats though. Like this guy's gonna be in the Olympics for gymnastics for sure. My parents are 85. They are in self quarantine for the last four weeks because of the virus. They are afraid to go outside or meet anyone in person. So together they built this contraption in their basement to keep them busy. Wait, how long have they been in, in quarantine? Four weeks? <laughs> that looks like something that'd take like a year to make. What does it even do? Okay, apparently it demonstrates and operates the use of antique tools, so I guess that's cool. This interesting art technique. Okay. Get spinners. That is kind of cool. It looks kind of messy at first. Oh! Never mind, I take that back! That does not look messy, that looks awesome! Okay, this next level isn't a legal one, but it's still a next level. So this theft is a little bit different. This man walked into a convenience store near Britain and Broadway and was able to convince the store clerk that he was there to take over the shift for her. He was even wearing a shirt with the store's logo on it. Once behind the register, he continued checking out customers for several minutes before ultimately locking the door, stealing all the money, cigars and lottery tickets, and fleeing the business. Suspect was seen driving a blue mid 90 Chevy Suburban. <laughs> okay, this next video might induce seizures, so if you have that, don't watch it, just skip forward to this point. This guy spent 200 hours making this video. It's a hyperlapse from 1,272 people's Instagram photos. So he went through and took everyone's photos and made them into- he did do it himself. This is so good. This is a life-size flying replica of the City Scanner drone from Half-Life. That is insane! If you've ever played Half-Life, that is like, perfect. That is exact- that's scary as well. <laughs> For some reason, I can imagine the government having these in like, maybe 10 years, just flying around cities doing this. These articulated fingers. Ooh. I don't know if I like them or not. Uh, it's kind of making me uncomfortable, but it's also like so well made. You could use that for a movie or something. Do you know what else is like a movie, but really low budget and just me? Uh, these videos. You could watch the movies too. 
and follow me. <laughs>